We're here at the old ghost town on Buck Mountain in Maggie Valley. Get up there and do your best can-can dance. And I'll sit here and shoot my six shooter up in there. Mark and myself are looking at anything that we can repurpose in this place that we can mimic the sea age Tennessee whiskey here in the mountains. If you're gonna have a saloon, you gotta have a drain in the middle of the floor to wash the puke and the piss out the next day. <laughs> Look how yonder, you can tell how high we are. Well, Look yeah. yonder, what a view, puss. If you could jump, you can make it right over yonder. Oh, that ain't that pretty. You see right there why it's called the Smoky Mountains, oh, can't you? Yep. Do you feel how much cooler it got here in the last 10 minutes? It's them, all them poltergeists. There ain't no damn poltergeist. Honestly, puss, every time the sun goes down behind the cloud, the temperature changes. Yep. This is what we need, this change in temperature. That's what forces the, the liquor in and out of the wood on the barrels. Blue skies right there, yep. clouds over here. This is perfect. The well, only thing we got to contend with is movement. They don't have to move a lot. Well, they just need to move four or five inches. We're not gonna be here babysitting these. There's no electricity up here. We have to do it naturally with the resources that Mother Nature provides. Hey, Puss, dream catcher. Huh. Looks more like a nightmare to me. Ah, I, I don't ever remember riding that, do you? No, I don't. I mean, it may have been put there later. Huh. Wonder. That's you thinking at... exactly what I'm a thinking. Let's see if them cheers. They'll might. hold our fat. <laughs> it'd hold a barrel. Oh my. Huh. The Dreamcatcher's kind of a tilt-the-whirl type thing. It's got little seats that are on swivels, and your chair swings out. You know, the G-force makes the chairs go out as they turn around. <laughs> Hey, look at this. This might be exactly what we're looking for. I can see barrels in every one of these, Rascal. Hmm. Look at that. If that right there don't simulate the motion of a boat on the ocean, I don't know what will. You know, this thing moves very easy, and it moves in every direction that, that a boat would. This is sea agent on dry land, Puss. It just goes all over the place. I think we can make something work with this. When you let go, it's gonna keep going. I mean, watch it. It'll go for a few shakes on its own, then that liquor's gonna keep going inside for a while. You know, the motion with the temperature changes and the barometric pressure, it causes that liquor to turn over and it gets more exposure to the wood. Every bit of that liquor will get exposed to the wood quicker than it would sitting in a rickhouse, which, you know, magnifies the aging process. You just be able to sail out two befores and one befores and put them up there about a four before or something like that. A sail. Yeah. Capital idea, young man. Yeah. If we can get some sort of sail put on these domes and it can catch just enough wind to get it to rock, we'll get plenty enough movement to get done what we need to get done. I think we have solved our problem, except we, for one thing. We can't haul them barrels all up here by ourselves. They're 500 pounds, we gotta roll them up here and get them up on this flat spot. It won't be easy to do. We'll have to have some help. Yep. We need Daniel. Yeah. We gotta have him. I believe this is their location, Hattie. You get, once you get it going, it'll come on on its own. These barrels are full. They're heavy, 600 pounds each. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers, boy. <clears throat> you know, you can't have too much help. I hope we got enough juice to get it up there enough. That's a heavy <laughs> You hear the truck squeak? Yep. It come up? You can kick it. There you go, Hattie. Yeah, how about them apples there, mister? I just don't want to drop it too fast. Uh, I hope this old deck's solid enough. If we can get it on the wood, it'll help us. All right. There, we got one. Damn, let's take our time. <clears throat> All right, let's get another. We've got 10 barrels with us. That's what Tennessee whiskey we've got barreled up. It's too much like work, boys. And if we can get them in some of these seats and get them moving, we're gonna be in business. So we got a deal right there now. Hard on fat boys, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. We gotta get that damn cherry picker up here. Yeah, I'm you. Oh, oh Mew. Girl. There you go. 30, 40 more minutes, we'll have this thing jacked up high enough to get her on there. Oh, it's a kind of, it's a slow, tedious, but sure work. Hold it right You're there, good. please. Hold it right there. Look young. You know, we got to secure them. We don't want to come back up here and them fell through the deck, laying on the ground, busted open, and all their liquor running down Buck Mountain. Oh, we're good.
That right there is the motion of the ocean, boys. It is. If it just moves around like this here during some wind, that's plenty. That's yeah, right. it sure oh, is. You know, when you look at these things, it kind of looks like a baby sitting in a cradle. That's kind of what it is. It's in its infant stages. Now we got to bring it to maturity. Uh -huh. I got that's the end of it, boys, till we bring us some more up here. Now we're going to start building sails. Well, Mark has come up with a design. We're going to build kind of a square and tack a tarp to it. Then we're going to screw that to the right itself. Hell yes, I got me a raise, boys. Hell, this is done. We need to move to the next. Move on. Well, it's got cooler, and we can hear thunder in the distance. We might just very well see a little bit of wind come here in a little bit. You know, we spent a lot of time trying to build this contraption. We're betting it all. We're letting the big end drag on this adventure here. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that we're kind of deeply invested in this Tennessee whiskey, so we've got no choice but to get these barrels to move. I know one thing, boy. What's that? As hard as we've worked on this thing, if it don't work, We've wasted a lot of time. Yeah. And several dollars. <laughs> here we go. Look here. Here comes here. a gust. There you go. There's your gust coming. We're catching wind, guys. Yeah, if we just get a little bit more wind. A little bit more. It's a coming, though. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Look how, it, oh, look how it's blowing here. That's a plenty. That's all they got to do right there. All it's got to move right there. This ain't out of control wind, and it's a moving them. Yeah, yeah, this is just a good steady breeze. If it'll do this two or three days a week, we're golden, boy. Yeah. You know, as long as these old chariots here are moving a little bit, then the whiskey inside the barrel don't have any choice but to move. Just there. like a baby in a crate. It's as safe as if it was in its mommy's arms. The thing about it is, when these stop, that liquor ain't stopped. It's still in there moving. It's, it's sloshing right. around. We've got the barometric pressure changes here. We got the temperature changes, and now we've got the wind. Oh, this is perfect. We couldn't have got it no better. Guys, we've done it sure as hell. All the hard work has paid off. It is going to work. i tell you one thing. I was concerned. You know, we've worked terribly hard to get this done. I was pretty much ready to throw in the towel on it. I'd hate done all that damn work for nothing, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. I think all our hard work's paid off. It's going to work fine. That's why they say if you don't like the weather in the mountains, wait a few minutes. Wait a few minutes, it'll change. I'm liking it. I'm liking I it. I like too, it even more when about six months pass. This is going to revolutionize our liquor selling world. We're going to get five year old liquor in five to six months. The longer it stays in there, better it's going to get. Exactly. Yeah.